Sonny Bruce ripped it down here. Yeah, all the best came through the bay. What about Richard? What about uh, Robin Williams? Carlin, Mooney? You don't necessarily have to be the biggest star. As long as you come with it and the people coming out, they like to see live performances because it's a savvy audience. San Francisco, are you ready? coming out and thanks for making a nigga feel comfortable in the gayest place on earth. <laughs> you guys got Disney World jealous out this motherfuckers. Man, I didn't really think it was that gay at first. I was like, what is everybody? Because when I was coming out, everyone was like, man, that place is really gay. <laughs> so like, what the fuck is everybody talking about? It's not so gay. And then I, I wandered into that Castro. God damn. <laughs> I said, this is America's anus right here. This, is, this shit is deep. Went to that tenderloin. There's nothing tender about that motherfucker at all. It's, that shit was rough. The opposite of tender. I have never seen crack smoke so casually before. These niggas was sitting in front of Starbucks, smoking crack and drinking coffee. I said, this is off the hook. Talking about politics. I seen one crackhead trying to break into somebody's car, man, and it struck a chord with me. I tried to stop him. I said, hey! And he looked back and saw me and said, oh, keep an eye out. I said, nigga, that was me that said that. I'm trying to help you. I want this shit to stop. Crackheads are like that. I had a crackhead break my car window one time. Broke it! You know what he stole? Fucking candy bar I had lying on the seat. That's all he took. It's a goddamn candy bar. I was so mad. I drove around the neighborhood for five hours looking for a crackhead with chocolate on his face. I, I did that. I finally found when I grabbed that motherfucker and said, hey man, what's all this chocolate on your face, motherfucker? He looked confused, chocolate? This is doo-doo, baby. I said, ah! Oh, man. This place is insane. But you know what I like about San Fran and the reason I picked this city to do my special is because it's, of all the major cities in America, somehow people get along here better than anywhere else I've seen in the country. That's right. That's right. And I always admired San Fran for that. And today I've realized how you did it. Put all the niggas on the other side of that bridge. There's nothing, this shit ain't happy on that side. <laughs> you leave San Francisco like, bye, thanks for coming to San Francisco. Come back in April, we're having a sale on Birkenstocks. As soon as you get to the other side, welcome to Oakland, bitch. Quick, quick. It's fucking crazy, but it, it also would feel like it's the East Coast city in the West Coast. You guys got subways and shit. I'm scared of public transportation. I was on a bus that was held hostage. 45 minutes. It wasn't life threatening, I don't want to give you that impression. It was a dude jerking off, but the shit was scary, son. It was scary. It was right before it happened, I was on the bus smoking a cigarette. It's a long story. That's not the coolest shit I ever did. And people freaked out. <coughs> Sir! 
Sir, put that goddamn cigarette out, okay? This is everybody's air, sir. I flicked it. I didn't want any trouble. And just at that moment, coincidentally, this homeless dude just out of nowhere pulls his dick out, started beating off, and I was furious. Because nobody said shit to this guy. They were just looking like, oh I was the only one on the bus that had the balls to say anything to him. And it's not even like I was brave, really. It was that, you know, I was sitting next to the motherfucker. I had to say something. <laughs> Come on, dog, you hit my elbows. Stop, <laughs> son, stop. That's all I said. I, was, I didn't want to say too much. Guys beating off on the bus means there's something wrong with this motherfucker. He, he's not wrapped so tight. I didn't want to push him over the edge. As soon as I said something, all these dummies on the bus, now they're brave. <gasps> he's right. <laughs> Put your goddamn cock away. I don't want to see this anymore. I don't want to see it either. Yeah! Now the guy flips out. All right, everybody, back up. Back the fuck up. I tried to be nice about this. Now everybody freaks out. Oh my God, it's a biological attack. Oh. I'm caught in the middle. I can't lose my cool. I said, hey, everybody, just calm the fuck down or you're gonna get me shot. Let's all just be cool. Let's do what this man says so he'll leave us alone. Now everybody gets quiet. is better. <laughs> and then he started walking up and down the aisles. He was terrorizing us. <sighs> and then he starts making demands. You in the pink shirt. Squeeze your tits together. <gasps> oh God, no, no. You, stick your finger in your butt. Why, oh God, why is this happening? Oh God, oh God. He was working my way. Shit was tight. Just that minute, I got saved, dudes. I was so lucky. This guy, the other in the bus, he snapped. He lost his mind, I seen it happen. Ah! He screamed out, rush him. He can't come on all of us and charge him out. And it was like a movie. This homeless dude seen him coming and shot one off. Ah! <laughs> I dodged that shit like the Matrix, nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> the guy behind me wasn't so lucky, y'all. No! Oh! <laughs> that shit was gross. It didn't kill him, but it was, I'm sure that fucked his day up. <laughs> You're not gonna have a normal day if a homeless dude busts a nun on your forehead at 8.30 in the morning. That's a wrap on the rest of the day. Ah! This guy was freaking out. It burns! Oh! 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 Everyone was standing around looking at him. Even the homeless dude felt bad. I guess he was finished. He came back to his senses. Oh, this is my stop. I said, relax, motherfucker. I had to say something. Relax. Oh, I can't. I got AIDS. I know it. I said, you can't get AIDS from a homeless dude busting a nut on your forehead. That's not how it spreads. I don't even know if that's just true. That's just what I told him, man. The, he was so scared I had to say something. I don't know where AIDS comes from. Who the fuck knows? Scientists don't even know. Scientists still say AIDS started because somebody had sex with a monkey. Word. <laughs> After all this research, this is the best explanation that you came up with, mother. Nobody fucks monkeys and people, you idiot. You either fuck monkeys or you fuck people. That's it, there's no in between. You're not gonna get some monkey pussy on Tuesday and then be like, oh, let me call Charlene on Thursday. No. Once you fuck a monkey, that's a firm decision. I'm out of the 
human pussy game for good. It's ridiculous. You act like monkeys are just as open as waiting for people to fuck them, man. It's ridiculous. But the monkeys don't want to be fucked by people. Think about it. Think how hard it would be to catch a monkey and fuck it. That's ridiculous. That's how it had to go down. Who do you think you're just gonna walk up to him in the woods and bribe this nigga with uh, fruits and bananas? Hey, buddy. Hey. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, your big bright red ass. Bright red booty. You know how strong a monkey is? Would rip your dick off like a celery stalk. It's psh, there. Throw that shit in the tall grass to never be seen again. Hey, dog, we're gonna go to the club, pick up some girls who are trying to roll. Nah, man, I'm cool. I'm gonna stay home, dog. Chill with my monkey. <laughs> you know how long it took me to train this monkey to suck my dick <laughs> without peeling it? Mm. <laughs> Last night, Chim Chim jerked me off with his feet. Nigga, only a monkey can show you that kind of love and tenderness. So y'all can keep fucking these people if you want, niggas, more monkey pussy for me. Hooking up with an orangutan next week. That's all I fuck is chimps and orangutans. You know who I feel real bad for is, is Indians. Everybody feels bad for Indians. They get dogged, they get dogged openly because everybody thinks they're dead. These motherfuckers are not all dead, all right? I've seen, with my own eyes, I've seen a gathering of 1,500 Native Americans. They were all gathered in one place. The place is called um, Walmart in New Mexico. <laughs> There's Indians there. I'd never seen Indians before. I wasn't even sure if they were Indians. It's fucked up, but I, I asked one of them. That's not nice, but I seen him in the sports section looking at bows and arrows. I had to say something. Oh, excuse me. I, I don't mean to be rude. Um, are you an Indian? And he was cool. Yes. Yes, I'm Indian. Still didn't believe him. I had to test him to be sure. This is fucked up. But I had a gum wrapper in my pocket, so I balled that shit up and I threw it on the floor. And a single tear came out of his eye. I said, oh, shit. I had so many questions. So what tribe are you from? I am a Navajo. I said, word. <laughs> I studied you in social studies. <laughs> You're a hunter-gatherer, correct? <laughs> he said, I guess so. <laughs> That's what you wish to call it. I said, why, what do you call it? He said, I am an alcoholic. I said, well, what's your name, dog? He said, please. Dog is my cousin. That was a good guess. My name is Running Coyote. What is your name, friend? And that shit caught me off guard. I mean, I didn't want to say my name was Dave to a motherfucker named Running Coyote. This don't feel good enough. He's putting me on the spot. I said, huh? My name, what? Oh, my name's uh, Blackfeet. Then I changed the subject. Forget about me, what's going on with you? I wanna meet your chief. Why don't me, you, and your chief, and your friends get together tonight? We could have a real live peace pipe smoking ritual. We need to celebrate, nigga, I thought you were dead. <laughs> and he set it up, it was beautiful. It was just like I dreamed. We was all sitting around, and Indians was beating the drum. <laughs> Some other Indians came out the back with a long blanket that was folded in half and put in, in front of us. 
open that shit up, and on the blanket was a long wooden pipe with feathers. And bags of weed were all over the blanket. <laughs> Chief walked over. The big ones are 50. The little ones are 25. <laughs> and these are 10. Man, those Indians got high as shit. I was baked. I told the chief, he was talking, I cut him off. Time out, chief. Sorry to interrupt. I'm fucking smashed, man. The weed's too strong. I'm itching. Is this PCP? The, the spirits have got me. Chief, the spirits have got me. And the chief threw some water in my face. Calm down, black face. Splash. I said, hey, it's black feet, motherfucker. Take it easy. Black feet, you are welcome to stay amongst me and my tribe for the night until the spirits leave you. And they gave me my own teepee to sleep in, which sounds nice. I personally felt like it was a little fucked up, you know, because they all had houses, man. It's like, why can't I sleep with y'all in the house and watch TV? Like, I can't be on this grass all night. Yeah, Indians is rude, man. Everybody's rude. Indians, they eat nasty food. All they ate was corn and shit. <laughs> Doritos, I think they called them. <laughs> That's right. People only see the surface. They see the division in our foods. It's because I eat chicken and watermelon. They think that that's something wrong with me. Let me tell you something. If you don't like chicken or watermelon, something's wrong with you, motherfucker. There's something wrong with you. Where are all these people that don't like chicken and watermelon? I'm sick of hearing about how bad it is. It's great. I'm waiting for chicken to approach me to do a commercial. Nigga, I will I'll do it for free, chicken. It's the least I can do. They make fun of Latin people for eating, uh, what y'all eat? Beans, rice, corn. Listen, that's not a reason to hate a motherfucker, all right? It's funny, but it's not a reason to hate. The only reason these things are even an issue is because nobody knows what white people eat. You've been very good at keeping that shit a secret amongst yourselves. I study white people. You don't know that, I'm writing a paper on you. Not even for school, nigga, just to do it. Just to get some, I'm just doing this independent research. I'm spending my money, that's why I'm working so hard. I follow you around grocery stores. They freak out. I just try to peek in the cart. They always see me. Get away from my cart, nigga. What are you looking at? Chicken and giblets are over there. You must be lost. These are vegetables. I know what you drink. See how quiet it got? <laughs> grape juice. Surprise, motherfuckers. You didn't know I knew about grape juice, did you? Oh, don't play dumb with me. Look at what? A lot of black people don't have the privilege of knowing about grape juice because they have grape drink. It's not the same formula that you get. <laughs> Ain't no vitamins in that shit. You might have one of your black friends over, Todd. Todd? Would you care for a glass of grape juice? What? <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck is juice? <laughs> I want some grape drink, baby. Oh, mm, it's purple. I don't think I know what a grape drink is. What? I have some apple juice if you want. What the fuck is juice? <laughs> I want some apple drink. It's green. Remember that commercial for Sunny Delight when all the kids run in from outside playing and they all run to the fridge? <sighs> all right, I got some purple stuff, some Sunny D. As soon as they say Sunny D, all the kids go, yeah! <laughs> Watch the black kid in the back. If you ever see that commercial again, look at that black kid. He'd be like, I want that purple stuff. <laughs> I, that's drink, nigga, that is drink. They want, they want drink. 
I want all them vitamins, nigga, I wouldn't drink. Sugar, water, purple. <laughs> That's the ingredient, sugar, water, and of course, purple. <laughs> it's too fucking much. I got a lot of things to talk about tonight. First of all, I've stopped smoking weed. With black people, you didn't let me finish, motherfuckers. God damn. I'm sorry, black people, to, to break the news so publicly, but I can't smoke with you anymore. Every time I smoke weed with my black friends, all you talk about is your trials and tribulations. I'm sick of that shit. I got my own problems. Nigga, that's a waste of weed. I'm smoking weed to run away from my problems, not take on yours. From now on, I smoke weed exclusively with white people. Calm down, motherfuckers. You win by default. You got good weed conversation. All white people talk about when they get high is other times that they got high. I can listen to that shit all night. Dude, remember at Frank's last week? It's fucking smashed, man. And catalogs everything they drink. Like two shots of Jaeger. Tequila. Four bong hits, man. Beer. Cheeseburger. That shit is great. Only bad part is you cannot pass out around white people. Every time white dudes pass out around each other, they always do some borderline gay shit when the guy's asleep. Frank fell asleep, so he like stuck a carrot in his ass and put shaving cream on his balls. Like, why, motherfucker? Why would you do that to a friend of yours? He trusted you enough to sleep around you. You gonna put a carrot in his ass? Is that, is that nice? I tell you right now, if I put a carrot in a black dude's ass, a nigga will kill you when he wakes up for some shit like that. That is an automatic death sentence on the street. It's a rap for you. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker. I thought y'all was friends, baby. What happened? I, I, I fell asleep at his house, right? We was drinking, and I fell asleep at his house, and, and while I was sleeping, right? I'm just gonna kill that motherfucker, all right? That's all you need to know. And fuck carrots. But everybody's getting along. I see that shit, I see it all around, blacks and whites. Don't fight so much. You know who don't have no beef with anybody is Asian people. I see how y'all be doing. Y'all just lay in the cut. Only, only, time, only people Asian people beef with is other Asian people. Like if you call a Korean guy Chinese, I've done this, they will flip out, hey! What make you think I'm Chinese? I am Korean. I look Chinese. Yes, motherfucker, you do look Chinese. That's why I said it. It's an accident. Look at the untrained eye, you all look Chinese to me. It's a mistake. I'm not trying to offend you. Some people say all black people look alike. We don't get bent out of shape. We normally just call those people police, okay? <laughs> just learn to live with it. That's all I can tell. Everybody's afraid of police now. I'm scared to death of these police. I am, nigga. I, I got a police scanner. First, first, first money I got, this is the first shit I went out, bought me a police scan. I just listen to these motherfuckers before I go out, just to make sure everything's cool. You hear shit on it. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Be on the lookout for a black male between 4, 7, and 6, 8. <laughs> Staying in the crib tonight, fuck that. <laughs> Gotta work on that alibi for a minute. Every black person needs an alibi. I, I do them impromptu joints. If I'm by myself and need out, I'll just open up the windows in the apartment, turn all the lights on, stop beating off right in the window. Look at me. <laughs> hey, everybody, look, it's me, Dave Chappelle. I'm crazy, I'm jerking off. In the Note the time, motherfuckers, it's 2.35. Look at me, I'm jerking off in the window, 2.35. Comedian Dave Chappelle, it's June 10th. Note the time.